Hello everybody, I'm Strategic Primus and this is Hearts of Iron 4, the United Benelux. The series has been going on for quite some time, I'm fairly certain if you're watching this one you've seen most of the rest of them. If you haven't, here's the link. Okay, cool. Um, so, last time, not too, too much happened, but basic sum up. Uh, we've been on the defense here, we've been, we've been pushed back a little from Nuremberg, kind of annoying. Uh, but generally, we've held the front fairly well. We reorganized how we're uh, deploying divisions here, and we're generally holding off well enough now. Um, that one concerns me a little. It's the linchpin in the line, but it should hold. On other fronts, this happened. I uh, Bulgaria put the Ottomans back in the war. I, I didn't expect that to actually occur, uh, largely because I expected the British to actually have their shit together on this front, but of course they didn't. <sighs> Which means I'm going to have to take the five forces who have been sitting in Java this entire time and throw them to that front line. I really don't like this, but it's what we're going to have to do. The reason why I had them out here in reserve is just in case, because I really don't want to lose my rubber. Which is what is from here. It's half of my strategic resources that I really don't want to lose. That being said, there's no one in the area anymore. We can move them. Should be fine. Um, this annoys me slightly. But the way they held down here, and they'd have to make it through all that until they're into the Congo. So, not exactly my highest priority at the moment. My highest priority at the moment is making sure that they don't take the Suez Canal, because that would end badly for the Entente. <clears throat> I've chosen to go for an equipment effort. I don't know if I did that on screen or off screen. Um, it's one or the other. Anyhow, we managed to keep the losses heavily in our favor. The Germans have lost 4 million men alone, with the Austro-Hungarians with another 2.4 million men, and the Bulgarians with nearly a million themselves. So, we've done a good job in terms of ensuring high casualties um, while defending our own men. Let's speed things up a little here. Ah, mechanical computing. Good. We need that. Now I gotta remember what I wanted to research. Do to do. Ah, yeah, it's over here. We need all sorts of things, but that will be very useful. Less supply consumption is always a good thing, even if it's only a little bit. Because we're about to go fight in the desert against a horde of Germans, Bulgarians, and a little bit of Soviets. Uh, because the common turn has been propped up by the Germans. Well, not propped up, uh, but started by the Germans. And they are aiding them in this war. Even though they are not part of the same faction. I'm going to go join this French assault, even though I don't think it will work. It won't. We've lost, we've lost decryption on them. We can't tell how many forces are where. That's not good. I'll have to go uh, study that. Notes for next couple of research slots we have. We seem to be holding up the line fairly well, though. And with the French are sending in more and more men, I hope. Although there seems to be a lot just sitting around in France. Not doing anything. This blobule that used to be the uh, Serbian Montenegrin front is sort of an interesting bit of border gore. Uh, we have nothing to do with it though, so I'm not showing too much of it. Hopefully, the Belgians can get here before they take the Suez. Because it would be embarrassing if I'm like, oh yeah, we got to protect the Suez Canal, and then we lose the Suez Canal before we're even there. Yeah, that's why. Alrighty. We got to encirclement. Uh, I don't really want to do a doctrine right now, so let's go over to what we were going for, which would be engineering. Decryption is usually... We have decryption. Where's their decryption coming from? They're hiding on me, and I don't know how. Give me a minute here. 
Yeah, how the hell is it encrypted? Are they all the way down here? Oof. No way. You can't be 20 years ahead in this. You just can't. Huh. Weird. I'm, I'm not questioning that. We need advanced hand tools just to get that production goodness up. Over here. I'm tempted to say go. Although, we need the French to actually join us in this if this is to work. But here we go. And it's not working. That one might. We might get mad to be right back. That is, the French don't join us. <sighs> Great. Allies, what are they good for? Not much. Oh, boy. We've been swarmed. Uh, where's the get out of Tel Aviv option? We're stuck in a pocket. That's not good. That's really not good. We got immediately pocketed. Oof. Oh man, that's not good at all. Okay. We lost some men there. That wasn't smart at all. But we need to get down here or we're not going to have a good time in this one. I can go for a triplane, but I don't exactly have enough to build those and those. So they better be better. Marginally. Meh. Not entirely worth it. I'd rather get an air, air doctrine. I know it's for airships at the moment, but if we keep pressing that, we will eventually get something we want. Oof. We've been kicked the hell out of everything having to do with uh, Palestine. And we're on the Sinai Peninsula right now. This is not going to be good. Are you guys going to get here? Ever? Any, any week now? We're going to land there, that's not going to be good. I want us to... I'd prefer us to land in Port Said. Bunch of Americans milling around. Hopefully they'll join this front. No, we can't control. Great. Because I do not have faith in these Egyptian forces here. Hmm. How's the home front going? Uh, well, we did not manage to actually take Madbuk. That's annoying. But we're defending well, and the borders really haven't moved much. Again, I say much. There we go. I should do something. You guys gonna get there yet? Come on. These boats are so slow. Lost a division. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Alrighty. We're gonna need to beef up our own front here. Just cause we need men. Like crazy. And the other two I'm sadly gonna have to send off to go die in the Middle East. That's what we get for trying to keep the Suez Canal open, eh? If we lose the Suez, this is... bad. Alright, there's Belgian forces on the ground now, and we're actually capable of mounting some semblance of defense. For now, against a pack of some Germans and a bunch of Bulgarians. That's two there. Don't tell me you're stuck. Okay, good. You're not stuck yet. Oh no, they have to go the other way around. No, 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 no. Really? 
Okay. I'm telling you to land down here because it's the next port down to get on the right side of the front. I don't want them sailing around all of Africa. It would end badly. We would never get there. Oh, that's a tie. Oof. Is there a superiority? Nobody. Okay. Airplanes? Over here? No way. Do, do, do. We need somebody else in Western Germany. I got 15 planes sitting around. I'll have to do. Hmm. I really don't like this. We've we've lost the Suez. That's not good. Means the Brits are fundamentally split in half. Well, means we can't just rely upon a never-ending sea of British forces from India, which are all in India. Well, probably not all, but a lot of them are. Great. We managed to defend it a little better here, as there's now a buttload of Brits here. Probably they saw that they were losing the Suez Canal and now finally reacted. Oh boy. I need you to back that up. I know he's going to be holding the line here for a second, but we need to back that up. That's not good. Okay, I should do something. We are dreadfully low on manpower for my liking. And you know, we didn't have all that much manpower to begin with here. Let's hope we can actually get enough forces here. Oh, we have another ace pilot. I like checking in on them. I cannot pronounce that. Itain EZQ Fuchus. 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 Fuchus? No idea. Somebody who actually understands what Belgian is, please help me. <laughs> Let me know. I have no idea. Um, we have air superiority over there just fine. This part we don't, which annoys me at the moment. Alright, if we can actually get the French to join us, we should be able to take Mandeburg. But of course they don't. Okay, now they do, but they don't. Ugh, they attack elsewhere. Thanks, guys. Coordination skills are on point right now. Uh, let's go for... That should do something. Alright, we're actually holding our ground decently. Never mind. I say that, and the next minute we start losing. If we lose the size of the Suez, we are thoroughly screwed. As there's a lot of Germans in Africa now. Oh boy, the colonial wars are not going nearly as well as the war in Europe. The war in Europe is going great. We're in Germany. Um... The colonial wars are going terrible. Well, let's back them up. And we'll get something in here. I say that and they start losing. <sighs> Belgians. We managed to hold on for the moment. Let's see what casualty reports are like now. Oh, why did I say that Bulgaria is nearly a million? Sorry, they're nearly a hundred thousand. Apologies, guys. I can totally math. 
France is nearing a million. That's great. Just the UK is at half million, which means that through all the rest of their pieces, they're probably at a million. Just because they have a lot of pieces. Tell them to stop that silliness. The idealistical where I want you to advance to would be over there. But let's be brutally honest, it's not happening anytime soon. You're on the defense. Oh, come on, 70%? Uh, admittedly, we're going up against a much better general. That's half the problem. Although we do have picked up some good trades here. We got Hill Fighter and Ranger now. That's that's real good. And Trickster. Which is a little overrated. But still good. I'd much rather have Hill Fighter all day, all, every day. But you know, that's because we're fighting in hills. And Ranger's pretty good too, because look at that forest. Alright. We got some equipment bonuses. We need to exploit them. We need some more defense because we're we're in a defensive war. Let's be brutally honest here. Do do do. Just take a look at this shit show. Something going down here. The Italian front still hasn't done a damn thing really. This is occurring, but I'm pretty sure it's not having anything to do with Italians. Who's attacking? The French. France. Stop wasting manpower. We don't have that much. I say, well, I'm wasting manpower. I thought I had a whole... Damn it. So all you really need is a couple of decent holes through this, and you will do just fine. You know, you break through a line, and you run real quick. Or this war, you break through a line, you take the hole, and you say, ha-ha. Because um, Germany's really on their last legs here. They've got what? 90% national unity, okay. And we're at that percentage of beaten up. So, you know, a couple more of these cities which there's plenty of, and we should do fine. Like, if we take, you know, down to Munich here, should be, you know, decently knocking them out of the war. Or, you know, take Berlin already. Um, like, I'm sure all of you are shouting right now. Uh, I'm trying, guys. It's not working well. And I'll just go join this French assault and see what happens. Heh, <laughs> we're getting bogged down. Who'd have thunk it? Lehman's already a level 6, so our call to flip people around was a good idea. Although he's a level 4 now, that's, that's not bad. I'll, I'll take that. What's this dude? That's eh, still 3. Yeah, I figured. Uh, but we're probably going to wind up getting some goodness down here. Alright, we're all here on this line. That's not great. I, I would, I'd like a little bit of spread, guys. Can, can we spread that way? I don't want to lose that side of the Suez. Come on. Alright, we might get actually a line break in here. Because the French and Italians and us have all attacked at the same time. Lucky us. Let's tell the cavalry to get in on this. 85, come on. Come on, baby. All the way down to 77. Great. We're not getting to Potsdam. Not now, at least. Let's go help them. That might happen. Back them up. Yeah, no, I'm just like, yeah, it's not a waste manpower. Over the top. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm bad. But we've got Leipzig, so, you know, I'll take it. This would put us just across from Dresden, which is nice. I'll take that. I mean, we're not up Berlin. But I don't expect that we'll be able to cross to Berlin. It's that's significantly harder push. Because if I was the Germans, I'd center the majority of my forces around the capital. 
because you don't want to lose Berlin. And you're going to hope to, to press through the line here and fundamentally split it. Don't know what the AI is doing. For all I know, they're just, you know, dancing around back here with no idea. Can we have a moment of appreciation of how the hell the Bulgarians pulled this off? Because I have no idea. This is like entirely a Bulgarian offensive. They've pushed the Brits back practically to Kuwait. And they've pushed us all, you know, this side of the, the it's still Brits basically, uh, all, all the way to Suez, which is borderline ridiculous. Alright, we're going to have to flip you for an actual fucking division. Yep. Alright, we have free military factories. Thank you. We need to flip to motorized and get that going. That means we're not doing any more horse-drawn vehicles. Which means we have a bunch of factories lying around. Lucky us. Uh, we're going to need more everything. I'm, I'm just sure of it. Let's just take a quick look at logistics. Support equipment we're drastically low on. Uh, motorized we're not doing great on. And infantry equipment we're doing fine. And field guns we're doing all right, I guess. All right, let's go fix that. So we need more support equipment. Lucky us. Uh, I'd like more of those, and frankly, as many fighters as I can build. Ugh. Put them to the lowest priority because there are still broken factories. There will always be broken factories. It's life when you're at war. It's you know we've have this many occupied German factories. Resistances are going to blow up at least a couple of them. Shit happens. Okay. You lot really do need to press down here. Come on! Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Uh, the Brits have made a landing. Go Brits. Not nearly enough men, in my opinion. Although the entire British Navy is at the door, so who knows how many more men are about to appear. The Americans are sitting on Cyprus. Why did I stumble there? The Americans are sitting on Cyprus. Uh, other Americans have landed in Turkey. Roads to Turkey. Um, but they're not going to defend Suez with us here. Come on, guys. We could use American manpower on some fronts here, man. Namely this one, or down here, or you can spring up one over here in Gallipoli, I suppose. Uh, it's not quite Gallipoli, Gallipoli's over there, but you can get the idea. <sighs> Come on, guys. Sorry, it's really hard to coordinate attacks with AI. It's like, you're doing that? Why the hell are we doing that? Tell them to get on that one. Tell these guys to go right ahead. Alright, sterilization efforts are pretty good. Do, do, do. We need more resource gain efficiency. You always do. Um, because I'm fairly certain we have so many civilian factories to trade. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, the reason why we're doing this well is because we have all these civilian factories from supplying rubber to the, the entire world, basically. We're useful. Uh, we're holding on there. The Brits are miraculously holding on over here. I don't know how. Hmm. It's October, by the way. For those of you who can't read it. Probably a little small. I apologize. Uh, our push is doing not much. 
means it probably won't actually work. What do we got here? Oh boy. Sunk by U boat. That's not good. Reduction, please. Give me like three of those, and I'll be real happy. Do do do. I could use a bunch of them. I need to shore up the lines in Europe at the same time that I'm shoring up the Sinai campaign is the problem. And I probably should look to shoring up Africa because... Oh, God, there's a murder blob down there, isn't there? Okay. So that's where all the Germans went. It's like they took a lot of their things from the Eastern Front and sent them to go, to go colony warring. It's like, really? That's German tactics? What? Huh? Oh, tell me these Americans here. Nope. Brits, French, Canadians. And the symbols are small, I'm sorry. America sails. This is the US Navy Division. But these assholes are on Cyprus still. Can can they do something, please? Come on, guys. Hmm. Oh, we got our hand tools. That makes me happy. Hmm. Not really all that interested in special forces at the moment. Trench mortars, however, would be not very useful. That extra breakthrough never goes to waste. You always need breakthrough. You always need everything, is what I'm about to say here. As we're low on manpower. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. These are the colonial divisions. I'm going to go we'll let them be colonial divisions. And do the colonial thing. Now the reason why I'm focusing on the front up here is because I have a sneaking suspicion most of the Germans are down there, and I really don't want them to get to the Benelux regions in the Congo. Actually, no. There's a better place to put them. Let's kick out the Germans over here. If I can draw today, there we go. Because I'm really interested in holding on to the Congo. The rest of Africa doesn't really amuse me all that much. I don't really care. Oh. I think we've actually picked up Schmentz. Lucky us. Again, just keep cranking equipment efforts. They're useful. They only give you a slight bit of a bonus, but those bonuses go a long way. Inferring you to research bonuses. These battles are just going on forever. We've lost air superiority in Western Germany again. Really, guys? This is how you reward me? Oh, yeah, let's flip him to something a little more important. There we go. So, wait a minute. We need air core reform. If we... Span it. I don't really want to disband air wings at war though. That tends to end badly. Never mind. Uh, a sneaky thing I could do is you disband the air wings, you block them together more such that they are uh, larger divisions of air wings and they might do something. As we retreat across the Sinai, the uh, Suez, sorry, and out of the Sinai, I should say. Oh. 
They've managed to sit on Tel Aviv and Gaza pretty well. I'm impressed. I was not giving them that much credit. The US has cancelled their lend lease, probably to modify it. I hope. You have 20... Oh, okay, their navy. Never mind. I thought they had 20 divisions sitting there. I'm like, really? That being said, they are holding on to some divisions. That or it's just production. Canada is holding on to divisions. Guys, come on, send them to the front. The war is not coming to North America. It's just not. It never does. Well, not for a while at least. Come on. Yeah, we stalled. We've stalled. Not good. Really not good. I say that, and then the French go on a wonderful assault to Potsdam. Without me. Without Belgium? Terrible. Ah, Franz Josef is dead. That means the Austrians are going to have some problems. Eh, it might have fixed that already. I don't know. But we're down to Karl V, the Austrian Empire, who would be the last austro hungarian Emperor. And as we're wrapping up 1916 here, Montenegro is still holding on. I'm impressed. Good job, Montenegro. Although Bulgaria is the real MVP of uh, the Central Powers at the moment. This whole front is ridiculous. Look at how many men are sitting in it. It's, it's silly. We need to send as many men to it, but it's silly that we had to do so. Where in the hell? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Taking the dear sweet time moving. Ah, we've crossed the river. Successfully, might I add. Good. At long last, some semblance of a breakthrough. By which I mean we gain one square. It has a town in it, though, so we'll take it. Nuremberg would be next on the menu. It's ten points. Or if we can try and get a surround up here. But I doubt that's going to work. Because that looks like the entire Austro-Hungarian army. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's a good question. Where the hell is the Austro-Hungarian army? Oh, down there. Okay, never mind. They're not at the front. Oh, they're on the other front. Never mind. I'm dumb. Do do do. Um, anything we want to join up here? Uh, yeah, throw him over. See if we can do anything. No way. You say you're green? As in good to go? I trust you, man. Let's do this. Really? No, no way. Okay. Oh, that's where the Lithuanians are. One of them, at least. Some Austrians. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. There are Austrians in the war, they're just down here and over there. For reasons that will continue to confuse me. Oh, something's going on. Oh boy, we might have had a crash. Come on, don't crash on me. Come on. Not now. No! Hmm. Ah, there we go. White's first reg in the Russian Civil War. That'd be Russia declaring war in the Soviet Union. Again. That means they're going to have to pull out of um, backing the Germans. It's not like they had a whole lot of men in it. 
So the new Mongol Empire, which we know as Mongolia, uh, who are part of the white movement and apparently fascist. And, oh boy. And the Russians are apparently fascist. Great! But they're at least going to uh, beat up the Soviets enough that they don't do anything in World War One right now. That was totally worth how much crashing for. I actually mean that seriously. Alright, you, you've realized that you were crazy. Good to know. Yeah, it looks like we caught them uh, for a little bit there when they were busily running their men around and trying to get resupply in. Probably when they were supporting this airport. So the AI still likes doing that. Yeah, let's just stack a giant pile of units on this airport when we have no planes in the region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's smart. Alright, we got an early light machine gun. I kind of want to pick that up, although it is ahead of time. It will take 200 some odd days. Uh, let's just take a quick look to see if I'm going nuts here, or if that's actually a good idea. I use this logistics company. I only have like two or three of them. Hmm. We have the tank prototype. We can start researching tanks. I'm going to do that, even though we probably aren't going to be making tanks, anytime soon at least. As, unless, of course, we start getting ridiculous on this industry as extra. Or we bog down here long enough that I'm like, shit, I need armor division. That might very well happen. Alright, you claim we outnumber them, and we can't punch through. We've got veteran divisions here. Well, not all the way down, but a lot of them. And we can't punch through, even when we outnumber them. Jeez, the German army is nuts. Uh, we're going to have to spend some of this goodness. Let's just take a look at what our infantry division consists of these days. And our probable problem is that we just don't have enough artillery on our divisions. Um, my problem is, is we don't really produce that much artillery. We've got 2,000 lying around. We can do something, I suppose. Oh, here we go. I know. Artillery in World War I. Damn useful, isn't it? Organization will go down, so our recovery rate a little. We'll gain a little bit of weight and supply use. And we need 132 more fuel guns per division. And we can probably afford that. Uh boatload more manpower that's going to be pricey for us but our defense goes way the hell up our breakthrough goes up our heart attack goes up our soft attack becomes immaculate uh, piercing actually exists now hmm i'll take it i don't know if we have the manpower for this we appear to have had. that's good Glad we had enough, just enough artillery lying around, apparently. And we did not. We have deficit of 2,000 fuel guns now. Great. Well, you know what that means. We need to build more artillery. That's what we need to do. We'll get to it. All right. That's been the part. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, not too much happened, but we did manage to get a little bit of a push down here. We almost got through over there. Magdeburg might fall someday. I can have dreams, right? That might do something. Who knows? And our backing and holding the, the Suez Canal is... Oh, we have three out of four parts. 
I didn't quite get there in time to do exactly what I wanted to do, but we'll do something here. That being said, we look to be almost getting a breakthrough uh, towards Nuremberg, so I'm going to let it go for a little bit here, just to see if we actually get this push, or is it going to be one of those, oh yeah, you can totally do that 20 seconds later. Nope. Yeah, it's one of those. Great. Uh, give me reinforced concrete for the additional delicious construction, right? Something tells me we're going to need to be uh, defending this for a while. That means building trenches. Something I wanted to avoid for a while here. Well, I wanted a prettier line, that's all. Uh, good, we get land leased. Anyway, I'll call that an episode here. We are in 1917 now. I was incorrect. The war would not be over in 1916. We're close. We are really close, though. We kick out the Germans. The Austrians will not be able to fend for themselves, really. Um, that being said, Bulgaria is a problem with this new Ottoman Empire. The Russian Revolution is going on. A whole bunch of craziness. I hope you all have enjoyed. I will see you all in the next part. Please like and or subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll keep making it. Thanks, guys. See you next one.